Hey guys, welcome back. It's official. I've put the propane system on the rig. I got it hidden from prying eyes. But don't laugh too hard. It's a prototype. Just a barbecue bottle. An acetylene regulator. A 12 volt uh, on off solenoid. Ignition activated upfitter switch here. That one there. And a boost control switch. Let's see if I can show you that. So it's normally off and as soon as the engine hits 7 psi boost that switch connects and then the solenoid turns on and the gas line is here, runs up in here, over here and temporarily I've got it in there now where the uh, filter minder went. So baby steps on this system, I've got it at half a PSI and um, I notice a slight, maybe slight increase in power, uh, hard to tell really, but it seems to hold the gearing a bit better, but I'll slowly turn it up, I'll run it at half a PSI for a while and then turn it up to one PSI, two, three and a I think about four is ideal. So I'll keep you guys uh, in the loop for that. I'll, when I do get it to the point where I know some more power, I'll bring you along for a little in cab ride. Um, yeah, so the Detroit uh, is running really good and it seems to like the propane. So. We'll, um, we'll see how it works out, and eventually I'll get a if it, if I like it, I'll get a um, a proper automotive tank and mount it in the bed here. But for now, this is just the prototype. I have it turned off when I'm not using it. So I've heard lots of talk of this system, and in the day. Uh, I think a lot of guys are using them, but not used much now with the trucks of this ilk over here with 450 horse and whatnot. So the goal here is to boost this uh, engine up to 250 horse safely. And I, ch I chose the propane because it's clean, um, easy to do, and it was cheap. In order to put the injectors in this, the 9A90s would be my next upgrade. I would have to um, lift the cab and uh, put them in. No big deal, but uh, I wanted to try this and see if it was a, a nice upgrade or not. If it's too much playing around, I'll, I'll take it out and put the bigger injectors in it. So thanks again for watching, subscribing, and uh, commenting. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Take care.